Welcome back guys to the PvP build for the Necom chapter. I'm on my stamina arcanist this time with a nice one we x build on the back bar an old school set called Dead Uticory, a craftable set. When you do damage you gain 1 of 5 random major buffs for 21 seconds every 9 seconds so you can have up to 3 buffs at once. Buffs are major expedition, major protection, major manding, vitality and heroism. Didn't use the set for a while. And I'm not even sure why, because it's really powerful on the back bar as a defensive set. Front bar, the Master's do it with rending slashes as spammable, deals an insane amount of damage. No mythic item, instead I'm using Red Mountain as proc set, one of my favorite burst proc damage sets. Look at the tooltip 10k unbuffed and Shudan as monster set. Like this I have bar space for Runeward, a powerful damage shield plus burst here which saves my ass over and over again, especially in 1x situations. Alternative go with the resistance buff, Unbreakable Fate, for even 15% block mitigation with the Crux. The problem about this is you will lose a burst here and a oh shit button without rune ward. Did some tests with it and it was terrible. Also tested this uh, kinda burst here, rune mend, but it was not sustainable. So this is in my opinion the best way to play, especially in 1x situations. Armor types, 1 heavy chest, 4 medium armor and 2 light armor, with 2 well fitted, 1 sturdy and 4 impen, don't have really cry, means crit resistance is an issue, full prismatic glyphs, what else, full infused on the jewelry for the extra weapon and spell damage, alternative you can go with a mix of bloodthirsty or even full bloodthirsty, 1 prismatic region glyph, needed with a ton of magicka abilities, Two mazes on the front bar, face a pen, Nurn sharp, flame and poison chant, the back bar, sword and board, powered sturdy, with the escape is poisons. Alternative go with nice stuff and element susceptibility on the back bar, but then you would lose the minor beach buff. Skills front bar, the first one is our major brutality and sorcery buff, deeds single target damage on top and gives 600 magic and stamina back and even generates one crux if you have none. Our CC, adoration, basically a fear. Which also applies minor wound for 10 seconds, 5% more damage for us. Grinding slashes as spammable and a powerful dot, especially with the master's do wield. One of my favorite spammable in this game. Then flail instead of tentacular dread, simply because it costs stamina and generates crux, which we need for our burst here, mainly for our burst here, rune ward. Consume crux to heal yourself for 3.5k, scale off your max health per crux spend. With 3 crux, it heats 3 times and it's basically a burst heal. Really effective. Alternative you want to go with Tentacular Dread, but probably not sustainable, because way too much Magicka. Karma Hunter slotted for the major Savagey buff, 12% crit rate, Minor Berserk and Slayer, 3% more extra weapon spell damage, just slotted. Ultimate, King's Gaze, super powerful, deals a ton of AoE damage, ticks every 0.5 seconds, 8 seconds duration with a 50 meters range and 5 meters AoE range. Very nice. Alternative go with Dawnbreak, of course. Back by Purse Armor for Minor Major Beach. Almost 9k penetration. Race against time is snare removable. Did some tests with the portal, but honestly, guys, the portal is super buggy at the moment. I prefer Race against time. Vigor is self here. Imperious Rune Ward, like I said, a oh shit button. The damage shield, especially the first second, in the first second is insane. Even deals damage and the burst here on top. Room Guard of Freedom for minor resource, 3k armor, minor protection, 5% reducing your damage taken. A burst here on top if you fall below 50% for the first time. And another 3k armor plus CC immunity for 6 seconds. Abyssus C as defensive and aggressive ultimate, especially if you take a ton of damage after 10 seconds, you deal 10 seconds damage in a 5 meters radius. For open world, Sparrow probably even better against all those snipers and range bobos. Race Danma for the extra weapon spell damage, Magicka and Stamina. Better choice would be Imperial Nord for extra tankiness. Mundus the Serpent, 310 stamina region, Smoke Behunch for the extra magical region, 33 points in HP, 31 in stamina, potions, the normal twice of potions, we have access to major savagery buff and major brutality buff, so we can use those juicy twice of potions, CP, steady aim, master at arms and waffle strikes, I have de-slotted biting all for waffle strikes, since biting all only empowers two of our abilities, waffle strikes, every single ability, ironclad, for damage reduction, alternative for more tankiness, go with dual rebuff instead of raw for strikes, gives you definitely more tankiness. 
recipe is pretty standard, sustained by suffering, pain refuge, celebrity and slippery. Another option to slippery would be shield master, reduce the cost of your damage shield abilities by 10%, it also afflicts our ultimate abyss C and rune ward of course. Or bastion, the other alternative, increase the effectiveness of your damage shields and damage against shielded enemies by 15%. This also empowers ultimate and rune ward. Combination. Always pre of yourself with the brutality buff and raise against time. Apply plus armor. Raining slashes once. Flail. Ultimate into fear. And then spam running slashes. That's it with the build. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Peace.
Remember when you said it doesn't get better than this. Only a fool to let you go. It got into my head. Am I about to lose myself? When will all of this fade away? 'Cause I see colors for the first time. I'm starting to realize nothing's ever black and white. And I'm caught up in the first night. Now it doesn't feel right. I'll just have to say goodbye. Doesn't feel right. I'll just have to say goodbye one last time. 